Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, well, today before work, we got this package in from the late night lock picker. Um, we did a lock trade and uh, he's a lot, he's a, one of our fellow pickers from Canada. And um, if you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Um, he had already gotten my package, I got his package in today. And well, I have an apology to make to him. Um, first of all, I already cut this package open and well, I didn't realize that he had a pouch in there. So I had already cut close to the edge as I possibly could and I still nipped the edge of his pouch here. So I really do apologize for that. And well, before work I had put this, um, this paper here with his name on it. And when, after I pulled this out of the pouch, I had flipped this over and I forgot I never even covered up our names or our addresses. So of course I have to start this video all over again. Not that it matters all that much um, in respect. I'm not going to be picking a lock out of um, the package. Something is going on with my laptop. And if I if I try to do a 15, 20, even, even my videos now that are 15 minutes, it's taking me two and a half, three hours to upload them. So I'm trying not to go much past 12 or 13 minutes. It takes me two and a half hours to upload a, a video on my laptop now. I got to get my, uh, my IT guy, and he knows who that is to try to clean up my computer a little bit because it just takes forever for me to get a video up. So I wasn't planning on picking um, one out of the out of the package anyway, but I have to I do have to apologize for that. I didn't realize there was a pouch in there. Like I said, I tried to get as close to the edge as I could possibly get when I uh, well, when I cut that package open, but I have not opened this up yet and um well, let's see. I don't know if I can even get this open cuz actually he had the zipper on there too, and I cut so close that actually the zipper, the zipper came off. And it does say, Bobby Keys from the Late Night Lock Picker. Again, buddy, I really apologize. I didn't realize that that was in there. I'll just try to be a little more careful, I guess, when I'm opening up these packages. But um, I don't know if I could get this open. Yep, yeah, okay. Just take this a little bit right open. And look at that, guys. We are packed with some locks. Um, but all right, let's, um, let's pull them out one at a time anyways here. Alright, first up, looks like we have a challenge lock here. I think he said that he pinned up all the challenge locks are from him themselves. We've got a home security here. Um, mummy key, pinned by the late night lock picker. Oh, he's got his name engraved here on the side. Um, awesome. Home security. Mummy key. Awesome. Thank you. We will get into that. We have, okay, we have a really cool key. That's a t-shirt. Awesome. That's cool. It's got another mummy key. Looks like he might have got into the top of this lock. He's got it all wrapped up in tape, so I'm pretty sure he's been in this one. Um, quick set. And um, pinned by the late night lock picker, March 23rd, 17. So it's more than likely one of his newer locks. Awesome. Thank you. We'll definitely get into that. All right, we have a padlock here. An Abyss 7240. Oh, and we have a zero-bitted key. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen an Abyss before zero-bitted. Um, unless this is just a spare key. I don't know. Let me see. Yep. All right. Well, we'll get into this, and maybe we can um, we could cut a key for this lock. Awesome. Sweet, thank you. Appreciate that. We have another challenge lock here. Late night lock picker, again engraved here. Oh, and we have another zero bitted keys. So we don't have a key for this one. Um, I guess, I don't know if he wants me to make a key for this when I get it open or what. If you do, let me know. I will, um, I'll see if I get a key made for this. But, um, awesome. Alright, so we do have another quick set keyway, I believe. Um, looks like one, two, three, four, five pin. I don't think we want to turn that anymore. Yeah, don't turn. Don't turn 180. Yeah, well, everything's going to drop out the bottom here. Or all the uh, key pins, anyways. Awesome. Thank you. Another challenge lock. Oop, what do we got here? Oh, alright, we have a disc detainer lock. 
has a plastic disc pack sleeve. Okay. Um, I have a disc lock that I got from eBay. Actually, I got another one coming. I'm trying to see if I'm going to, you know, want to maybe get into these. I do have the, uh, the picks to do them with, but let's check this out. Oops. Key fell out. There we go. Awesome. Works very nicely. Sweet. Secure. All right. Well, another um, disc detainer lock to play with. Sweet. Thank you very much, my friend. All right, I'm not going to bother with that right now. We have another lock with no key. I don't see any name on this either. Very tight in this package if we can get it out. Alright, um, I don't think that's a quick set keyway, that's a slay keyway. Alright, but well, it looks like he's been in the top of this, so I don't know, I don't see his initials anywhere though. So I'm not sure if he got into this or not. There's not a whole lot of play. Let me see if I can see that first pin, see if there's any serrations or anything in it. I don't think so. Unless it's a sleeper, um, maybe it's another lock for me to uh, pin up, make a challenge lock with. Well, we're going to pick that one anyway, so we'll find out when we do. All right, we have another challenge lock here. Pinned by lock, Late Night Lock Picker. Sweet. Um, I think that's a quick set. I'm still trying to learn my keyways, I really am. He's got the key mummy. Looks like he's got his name engraved on the key there. And on the lock again. Pretty cool. Sweet. Another challenge lock for us to get into. We got a another slag here. An Ilko. Awesome. I just got some vintage Ilkos from uh, eBay. But it's like turning kind of rough. I think it's a uh, stock lock. Bidding us. Got pretty straight across bidding, so we might be able to change that though if we're going to make a challenge lock out of it. Yep. Well, awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, we have a little, little Stanley. A little 25 millimeter Stanley. Awesome. That's a cool little lock. I might actually keep that for my collection. <laughs> Look at that bidding on that little key. Wow. That has an awesome bidding for a little lock. One, two, three, four pin lock. Very small, small keyway. But awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. Sweet. We have another challenge lock here. L and, okay, late night lock picker. Again, pin by late night lock picker. No key, uh, another quick set, pretty awesome. I see some serrated pins already in that first pin. Very cool, all right, another challenge lock to get into. We have a few, all right, oh, there's actually this rip in this bag. A few um, kick cylinders here. Sure, these are all stock, we don't have any keys. Oh, oh, turned already, oh, there's no pins in it. All right, well, he took the pins, but that's okay. I got plenty of pins. We can make some challenge locks with it. Another quick set. Um, quick set. Is there any pins in that one? Nope, no pins in that one. No pins in that one. Awesome, though. Some nice little cores. I can make some uh, challenge locks with Pretty sweet. And last but not least, what do we got? Oh, awesome. We have a vintage lock here. A lock for my collection, I'm sure. What do we got? We got a Yale. Um, a little lever lock. Awesome. Very cool. What do we got here? Yale Town Manufacturer Company. Made in, made in Canada. Sweet. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Alright, well, it looks like we have some more work ahead of us, guys. Um, like I said, I would... I would pick one of these out of package. Um, I don't normally do that anyways, but, um... Like I said, if I make a very long video, if I made a 20-minute video, forget it, guys. I wouldn't even get that up tonight. But 
pretty cool very very awesome locks here um some more challenge locks to get into and uh well we will get into them and we'll put up some more videos with them but awesome thank you very much my friend um and again guys the late night lock picker one of our fellow pickers from canada please check out his channel and again my friend thank you very much for all those locks i really apologize for this um i will be a lot more careful on my packages opening them i need to be more careful in making sure that I'm covering up our names. That's the second time I um, showed the names on video. Uh, my, my address, I really don't care about, but you know, I just didn't want to give out his. And stupid me, as soon as I pulled it out of the package, I flipped it right over, and then it was, well, we got a view of both of our addresses. And somebody said I can actually edit them out, but I mean, I'm not that great with computers. It would probably take me days to figure out how to do that with my move maker, so. Maybe I'm one of these times I'm going to get my IT guy to teach me how to do some of that stuff. Um, but, yeah, awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate all the locks you sent me. And, um, yeah, we'll get some of these up on video for sure. Sweet. All right, well, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And, yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.